Hey everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to crop and resize an image to match any frame size you need using the Crop tool in Photoshop. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but you can also follow along with CS6. So when resizing an image for print, a problem we often face is that the aspect ratio of our image and the aspect ratio of the frame we want to place the image into are different. Since we can't change the frame frame size, we need a way to change the aspect ratio of the image itself. In this video, I'll show you how to both change the aspect ratio and resize your image for the highest print quality using nothing more than the crop tool. I'll use this image that I downloaded from Adobe Stock. And let's start by taking a quick look at the problem. Let's say I want to print this image to fit inside a standard 8x10 frame. Now normally, we resize images in Photoshop using the image size dialog box. To open it, I'll go up to the Image menu in the menu bar, and I'll choose Image Size. In Photoshop CC, the Image Size dialog box includes a preview window on the left and the resizing options along the right. I'll make the dialog box bigger so we can get a larger preview by dragging the bottom right corner. And then I'll click and drag inside the preview window to center the image. And here's the problem we run into. Remember that I want to fit this image into an 8 by 10 frame. But since the current aspect ratio of the image is not 8 by 10, the image size dialog box is not going to let me resize it to the size I need. If I try changing the width value to 8 inches, the height is wrong. And if I change the height to 8 inches, then the width is wrong. And the same thing happens if I change the width or height to 10 inches. The other value is always wrong, and it's because the aspect ratio of the image is different from what I need. Now I could unlink the width and height values by clicking the link icon between them. And this will let me change the width and height separately. Now since I want to print the image in landscape orientation, where the width is larger than the height, I'll set the width value to 10 inches and the height to 8 inches. But notice how the image now looks squished horizontally, which isn't what I wanted to do. And the reality is that as long as the image and the frame I want to display it in are using different aspect ratios, then the standard way of resizing images with the image size dialog box is not going to work. So I'll click the cancel button to close the dialog box without making any changes. What we need is a way to crop our image to the same aspect ratio as the frame before resizing it. And we can do that using the Crop tool. In fact, the Crop tool lets us crop the image and resize it for print all in one shot. I'll select the Crop tool from the toolbar. And as soon as I do, Photoshop places the crop border and handles around the image. I cover how to crop images in much more detail in a separate video. Now, if I just wanted to change the aspect ratio without caring about the actual print size, then I could do that by first making sure that the aspect ratio option is set to ratio. Then I would enter the new aspect ratio into the width and height fields. Again, I want to crop the image in landscape orientation, so I'll enter 10 for the width, and then I'll press the tab key on my keyboard to jump over to the height, and I'll enter 8 for the height. Notice that I'm not entering an actual measurement type like inches or pixels. I'm just entering the aspect ratio itself. And Photoshop automatically reshapes the crop border to match the new ratio. But in this case, changing the aspect ratio is not the only thing I want to do. I actually want to resize the image so that it will print at exactly 10 inches wide and 8 inches tall. So to do that, I'll click on the Aspect Ratio option, and from the menu, I'll choose Width, Height, and Resolution. Then I'll enter the same aspect ratio as before, but this time I'm also going to include the measurement type. So instead of just entering 10 for the width, I'll enter 10IN for inches. Again, I'll press the tab key to jump over to the height, and this time I'll enter 8IN again for inches. Notice that we also have a third box now, and this third one is for the resolution value. Since I'll want the image to print at the highest quality so it looks nice and sharp, I'll enter the industry standard resolution of 300 pixels per inch. 
Then I'll drag the image over to the right to reposition the family inside the crop boundary. Notice that we are going to lose some of the image on the far right, but in this case, there's no way to avoid it. To crop the image and resize it at the same time, I'll click the check mark in the options bar. And then to fit the image on the screen, I'll go up to the view menu and I'll choose fit on screen. And here's the image with its new size and aspect ratio. Finally, let's check to make sure that the image will now print at the exact frame size we need. I'll reopen the image size dialog box by going up to the image menu and choosing image size. And if I change the measurement type to inches, we see that sure enough, it will now print at exactly 10 inches wide and 8 inches tall at a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, which means it will fit perfectly and look great in an 8x10 frame. And there we have it. That's how to crop and resize images to match any frame size you need using the crop tool in Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider liking it, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel. Visit my website, photoshopessentials.com, for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from photoshopessentials.com.